Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. You got five bucks, you think that theater is for old folks and that you have to dress up to go? Well, that's not true. Today from the Port Theater, we're telling you all about the iGo program. Hunting for treasure almost anywhere, waking up to a home invasion, and exposing the past in wet plate photography. You are watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. The iGo program is a discount ticket program for high school students, and today we're going to explore how that's possible, who makes it possible, and how the kids benefit from a program like this one. We'll do that later on this edition of Go Island. I love the energy here in the Port Theatre lobby. One show is just getting out and the kids are getting back onto the school bus. It always makes me wish that I was a student once again. We're going to throw things over now to Rayanne LaPlante. She's spending some time with a man who hunts for treasure. Kind of something a kid would do, I think. The iGo program provides $5 tickets to high school students to attend live theater productions. And the first thing I want to know, Bruce, the yes. general manager here at the Port Theater, how is it determined which show can be seen for five bucks? Well, the first thing it starts with is uh, the general manager at the Port Theater looks at the spotlight shows, the shows that the Port Theater presents, and he decides which shows are going to uh, be able to participate. Obviously, we, we try to include every performance here, and, and we come pretty close. The spotlight events are almost exclusively open to IGO, and we try to include some of our rentals as well. Excellent. Now, it's a great experience for the, I don't want to say children, but the youth who get to yes. attend the shows. But it's also a pretty crucial element for the future of theater. Absolutely. So, uh, the, the real concept behind IGO is to, uh, a student has to come to the ticket center in person, they have to participate in the buying process, get their own tickets. It really teaches the student the, the value and the and the, the uh, a mechanism to get involved and get out. It's not a gift to them. They have to come and sign up and become uh, in our database and and pick up the tickets themselves. So it really is teaching them at an early age to become audience members. And that's and crucial. How to do that. That's yeah. crucial for the future of Absolutely. theater. Absolutely. Well, and, and, and crucial for the, the future of, uh, of youth. They, they need to learn to get out and be independent. This isn't something the parents can do for them. They have to do it on their own. <laughs> Excellent. Now, one of the things, all the Spotlight series are presented by the Thor Port Theatre. Yes. What if I'm a promoter and I want to bring in a show to the Port Theatre? Can I make it and I go? Absolutely. Okay. Every one of our rental clients has the opportunity to participate in, with a $5 ticket. And uh, sometimes we... Uh, can't guarantee them up front. Sometimes we offer them at the last minute, depending on what the promoter wants. Right, excellent. Economics do play into it, of course. Of course, of course. And there's <laughs> a lot of details there we can get into. I'm resisting now. If you're a promoter, you can certainly contact the folks here at the Port Theatre about how you can make your program an iGo program. And be sure to look for that logo on promotions for performances that are taking place here at the Port Theatre. We're going to talk about some of the people in the community that make the program happen, as well as to some high school students who actually use the program themselves. We'll do all of that after a short break. Still to come, Crime Stoppers waking up to a home invasion, Ladysmith leading the way in sustainability, and one-of-a-kind images, wet plate photography. Hi, my name is Alison Crow, and did you know that music has been in my family for generations? Uh, my great-grandfather was a fiddle player, and I have actually recently taken up the fiddle myself. I'm not very good yet, though I have put uh, a bit of recorded fiddle of myself playing on my new album, Heavy Graces. But uh, anyways, I've been playing my great-grandfather's uh, violin that my dad had fixed up, and you can see the notches in the wood where he played, and it's I would say it's over a hundred years old for sure. So yeah, that's fun to me. <laughs> and did you know that you have a big role to play in stopping crime in our community? That's what Crime Stoppers is all about. We're having a look now at some home invasions that have been taking place in Nanaimo. Here's Gary O'Brien.
Attending any live theater performance, whether it be music or theater, is something that we can always call entertainment, but it also crosses over into education. Vivian Woodward is homeschooled. She's in grade eight, and there's a very direct way in which attending theater performances for $5 through the IGO program enhances your education. How does that work? Well, I am a musician, so I have experience playing music and I like I have to do essays on music and things so in December I did an essay on medieval instruments and I got to come see the winter harp performance and it was very interesting for me to see how all the different instruments were played. Right and winter harp of course was one of the performances that fit into the I Go program. Can you imagine what it would be like not to be able to attend performances? Not really, because we've been able to come here and use the IGO card and get in for $5. It's a great program. And we've been able to come and see a whole bunch of performances that we might not have been able otherwise to come and see because of the good price and the high school students get in for $5. Now, why is it important? I mean, of the cost is one thing, but the why? Why is it important for young kids to attend a theater? I think it's important for young kids as well as high school students to come and attend a theater and live performance so it can inspire them to either become mus musicians or performers but also so they can see what actual live performing is like where they might not have seen that before and this is a good first-hand experience on what it's like. Excellent, thank you. And there are lots of people who can't afford live theater. The tickets aren't cheap and even the cost of the tickets don't always and most often don't cover the price that is attached to putting on that performance in the first place. So it's all a trickle down effect and in the end the important thing is getting uh, young people in our community into the seats for live theater productions and the IGO program makes that possible. We're going to head down to Ladysmith now, Derek Johnstone, with how the city is leading the way in green team action. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. They say that it takes a village to raise a child. We're taking that one step further today. It takes a community to enhance the lives and the futures of young children who live in a community. Island Savings has a partnership with the Port Theatre. IGO is connected to that. What is it that you work together on here with the Port Theatre? We, we've had a relationship with the Port Theatre uh, just, actually it's a, kind of a one year anniversary now and it's a three year partnership. We, we had discussions last year about uh, creating a partnership here at, within our Growing Island Families Together program also known as GIFT. GIFT supports uh, initiatives in the community that are helping to enhance families and their dependent children. And the Port Theatre for many years now has had their community programs. They've never had a sponsor of them. And having the dialogue, we wanted to ensure um, that those programs would continue to be offered to enhance uh, the quality of life for, for youth here in the Nanaimo area. And I know that as a, as a corporate citizen in Nanaimo, you must be inundated with requests for support. Why choose theatre? Why choose theatre? Well, and I think we had this conversation a little bit earlier, theater needs all the help it can get. There, there are so many areas where you're seeing theater cut from, from the school program, and theater is just a great opportunity for, for children to, you know, explore social skills and their creativity and all of the, these great um, aspects of life. And, you know, when it's getting cut, it's... We, we want to pick up the slack and, and provide a hand where we can. And again, it, it's a great fit within our Growing Island Families Together program. Island Savings has committed $30,000 over a three-year period to ensure that, you know, theater will stay alive and well here in the community of Nanaimo. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah. And it is there for your use. The IGO program is what we're talking about specifically today. Five bucks will get a high school student into a performance here at the Port Theatre. Don't be shy. Come on down. Prove that you're a student, homeschooled or public school or private school, and you can attend for five dollars. You don't even have to dress up. That's just a theatre myth. We're throwing things down to Victoria now where Paul Beilstein is standing by with a look at a lost art. A wet plate photography is something that was popular and the only way to get things done back in the 1800s. Well, it's coming back. It's unique and it, it's one of a kind. It's an art. Here's Paul.
Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. Clothing supplied by Catwalk Fashions. Kate's hair and aesthetics provided by Matteo Salone.